Hey bull market bullies, welcome back to the channel where we break down the market one stock at a time. Today, we're diving into Starbucks Corporation. Yes, the coffee giant we all know. We'll be covering everything from financials to future prospects, and of course, stick around until the end for a special bonus tip that could give your portfolio that extra shot of espresso. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay ahead in the bull market. Let's kick things off with a financial overview. Starbucks reported a revenue of $36.48 billion, a solid number that reflects its global footprint. Operating margins stand at 15.64%, which is quite healthy, indicating the company's efficiency in managing costs and driving profitability. However, quarterly revenue growth has seen a slight dip at negative 0.03%, likely due to economic pressures and competition. Despite this, Starbucks continues to generate strong cash flow, reinforcing its position as a financially sound company. However, it's important to note that Starbucks carries a significant amount of debt, which could be a concern if economic conditions worsen or if the company faces unexpected challenges. If you're enjoying this breakdown so far, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Bull Market Bully for more in-depth stock analysis. Moving on to market trends and the competitive landscape. Starbucks is facing some headwinds, declining store traffic and rising competition from the likes of Dunkin', McDonald's McAfee, and even independent coffee shops. Additionally, inflationary pressures and supply chain disruptions have impacted profit margins. However, Starbucks's strong brand equity and extensive store network give it a significant moat, allowing it to command premium pricing and maintain customer loyalty. Digital innovation, particularly the mobile app and loyalty program, also continues to drive customer engagement and sales. Now let's look at the future prospects. The recent stock price surge following the announcement of the new CEO reflects investor optimism, signaling confidence in the company's future direction under new leadership with Brian Nickel, the former Chipotle CEO, at the helm. Starbucks is expected to leverage his operational expertise to navigate through these challenging times. The company is expanding its store network globally and doubling down on digital innovation. However, challenges like unionization efforts, inflation, and economic uncertainty will need to be carefully managed. Despite these hurdles, Starbucks' commitment to sustainability and continuous product innovation positions it well for future growth. So, how should you approach Starbucks as an investor? If you're a long-term investor, Starbucks could be a solid addition to your portfolio, especially if you believe in the new CEO's ability to steer the company towards growth. The stock isn't a deep bargain at its current price, but given its strong brand, financial health, and future potential, it's still worth considering. Remember, patience and discipline are key, and may be worth holding on to this stock for the long haul. Overall, we're giving Starbucks a solid b grade. The company has a strong brand and financials, but it's facing some challenges that need to be watched closely. If the new leadership can navigate these effectively, we might see that grade move up in the future. And here's that bonus tip I promised. When looking at companies like Starbucks, always consider the long-term impact of their digital ecosystem. Starbucks mobile app and loyalty program aren't just conveniences, they're key components of its growth strategy. So keep an eye on how these digital initiatives evolve over time, as they could significantly boost the company's valuation. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. This is Bull Market Bully, and I'll see you in the next one.